All right, what up guys? The Fighting Therapist here and today is fight night I'm here with Devin. Thought today would be a fun video to kind of go over how Devin experience has been. The whole training thing, you get to hear it from him. You got to see his journey on his channel. I, I didn't share much. I know. Yeah. <laughs> it's true. I didn't share much. I basically would slink back to the dorms and right. kind of give my thoughts and show my sweat pools on the floor. It's fair. But I never really showed too much. But that makes sense. You're yeah. training. Yeah, like, exactly. How do you want to film yourself no, and train when I you're couldn't. by yourself? You and I always, I always felt weird too because I feel like there's this kind of, I don't know, maybe I'm, I don't know that you can bring cameras into fight gyms and just everybody's cool with it because I know that people are getting ready for fights and I'm, yeah, everyone's usually cool with it. As long yeah. as you just ask, hey, like yeah. I want to film, is that fine? Yeah, no, it's usually yeah. especially TriStar. It's only camera crew coming in for all the UFC fighters. Yeah, so that makes sense. But no, I didn't. I, I did. This has been the first time we've really started to, well, we've got Show. more media involved now. Yeah. yeah? So that, we're going to go through that and then we're actually going to go through how Devin has been feeling training with me and the actual timeline because I think you guys are still very confused of how long I've been actually training him. Four weeks to it's been incredible. one week. I mean, look at me now. I'm a completely changed man. Like, like behold, this is what a fighter looks like, right? Yes. <laughs> ready. 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 Ready to go. Ready. Uh, yeah, so, I mean, I've... I've kind of a lot of people know the timeline. It's been less than five weeks. Four weeks and five days ago, uh, all in, all in. Went to TriStar the following day. Uh, met with Frost. Kind of that first week, I was just kind of like in TriStar gym, just yeah. kind of like doing whatever. Yeah, man. Like I was. You know, working the maze ball. Faraz gave me a lot of guidance at the beginning, what I should eat, how I should train, how I should condition. I just, I ran with that. But uh, yeah, and slowly, like different guys in the gym started to come over and give me guidance. Uh, you know, little bits and pieces here and there from different guys. Uh, I think, I think the first week, I don't even know if I sparred the first week. You didn't. You sparred no. the second week. The second week. And I was there. Yeah. Sparred with you on the so second week. So that was, I think you were my first sparring yeah. session. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so that was my first sparring session. Well, that was the wake up call. I was like, oh my God. I remember, I think it was round one. I think, so it was you and Mustafa. Yeah, and we were doing body, body. work. So like, I hit you. Yeah, and, and then, then hit me, yeah. And then we would switch to right. Mustafa. Would exactly. Go it wasn't really sparring, it was just kind of taking turns. Yeah, just kind of getting used to it. Yeah, just, yeah. yeah, getting hit. And I think, I think Mustafa dropped me in like round two or yeah. something. Yeah, liver shot. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, and yeah, I think I held on for a while. I don't think I made it to six. I think that that was the intent, but I, I don't know. It was, uh, and you were doing six minute rounds. Yes, it was six minute rounds. Just to kind of add in more cardio. Yeah, yeah. And I think as soon as I started to spar, they, they kept me sparring. Yeah. Uh, I think that that whole kind of second week, I was sparring. And it was like progressive, right? Like, uh, you know, we always started off to the body. Uh, you know, various skill levels. Uh, yeah. Mustafa and Javad. Everybody has a different style. Like... Um, I, I did fight, well, spar with a lot of more junior dudes. Yeah. That was, it's really evident. I found in energy expenditure. Yeah. Like as soon as you're even standing with a dude who has credible threats, you know, <laughs> it's just, you're way more tense. Yeah. Because yeah. you know they're faster and they have like more ways to hurt you. You're a tenser. <laughs> and then when you're, uh, you know, you're fighting with a dude who you can tell is not so pop, doesn't have quite the same snap, you can relax more. and so Javad? Oh, yeah. Javad was nicer than Mustafa. I love yeah. Mustafa, <laughs> but man, that Mustafa is a workhorse. Like, uh, I feel like that dude starts to smell blood and he's like, Go for it. he's like, you must learn. <laughs> you must learn the hard ways of the fight world. Yeah, Mustafa dropped me a couple times, it was great. But Mustafa did a lot of good things for me. Mustafa took me out running. A lot of times I'd be like, so we'd have like, I'd try and do two sessions. Yeah. Morning, come back to the dorms, shower, eat, um, lay in my bed. <laughs> <laughs> you know, wondering what the, what am I doing with my life? 
trying to heal so I can do it again. And uh, Mustafa would come knock on my door. He's like, let's go work pads or um, something. something. Something extra. Something so extra. extra, yeah. Pad. And then, jeez, uh, I mean, the time went so quickly. Was it? Yeah. And was then it? You, uh, you sparred the third week to the head. That's right. Then so, we did to the head. Yeah. Then your nose started getting fucked up. Yeah. Yeah. That's <laughs> right. Because yeah, by the third week we were doing active head work basically yeah. by round two or round three. Yeah. And, and it wasn't any more like uh, kind of you hit me, I hit you. No, it was sparring. Yeah. Kind of like a hundred. Hundred. And then very kind of controlled to the head. Yeah. Yeah, I was being encouraged to hit hard to the body. People were being encouraged to hit me hard in the body. I'd say I really wasn't doing any footwork drills. Okay. Uh, not really. Like I mean, I was I was trying to work the maze ball and trying to work my slips, but I really didn't. I didn't really get exactly what was going on down there. So fourth week, I mean fourth week it was like your last one. Was, yeah, that's yeah. like so. Well, it was Monday was my last day and so you on the third week we were supposed to fight I think yes so we sparred Saturday Saturday I'm Remember seeing, Saturday sparring Saturday sparring and then the fourth week is when you left you left on Wednesday yeah no 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 no, 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 no. we flew on Wednesday yeah we flew that's what I'm saying but then Mon Saturday we finished sparring oh right remember and you're like are uh, you coming with me? Yes. Was, hold on, hold on. Was it Saturday or it was, Saturday. was it Monday? No, it was Monday you came to get tested at my house. Okay, but we f we sparred on Monday too. Yeah, we did. We trained okay, in the morning. Okay, that's right. Yeah. That's but right. We, we were, yeah, but Sunday, Saturday we were like, um, are you coming with me? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah I'm coming yeah, with man, you. Yeah, man, it was great. Yeah. It was like, because uh, it was kind of a scramble. Uh, Zach was like the hardest guy to, to work with for me like uh, in terms of inspiring like you were able to I felt like kind of at will you could hit me and I knew that I was like you showed me like you didn't you didn't ever rock me but I was like damn I'm like okay I would be I'd be on the floor right now <laughs> uh, that was great man you I, I really liked working with you and you were the kind of the tallest guy yeah I am yeah I start. and uh, Oh, it was great, man. And um, Faras actually suggested you. He's like, he's like, if you can get Zach to come, you'll be in good hands. So, yeah. yeah and luckily, you I got said, yeah. you got freed up. So, yeah. so then we're here. And then when we got here, that's actually the first time I actually trained Devin. Yeah. So it hasn't so, been long. No. It hasn't been long. The but videos I mean, you saw. Those are the sessions I train him. <laughs> yeah. So it's been very brief. I mean, four weeks is very, four or five weeks is brief any way you cut yeah. it. But uh, yeah, our time together has been fast and furious. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. And the last week that we've had, we've only really, really been able to work hard just a few twice. times. Yeah. Twice here. We, I mean, I count our sparring sessions back. Yeah. Yeah. yeah you know, your we, last one. The yeah, last one we did. Like yeah. that was good. Um, yeah. But then all the drills you see him doing now, is just it's just first the time, past three days, like yeah. four, three sessions, not three days, past three sessions. So the ducking, the slipping, the weaving, the, it got better every video because we only did it three, four times. That's yeah. it. <laughs> yeah, so. this is it's all brand new. I was like a, like a virgin, like a virgin <laughs> I am in this game. Uh, I'm gonna have to ha kind of. There's no time to think in a fight, really. Like. Yeah. Uh, so I know that I'm gonna have to rely on instinct and the little bit that has gotten in there, the yeah, little that's bit. Stuck. Yeah, yeah, hopefully, yeah. hopefully some did, but I mean, here we are. Yeah, that's we're, tw it. we're twelve hours out. Less 12 than hours. Like, anybody who wants to learn how to fight, this is your guy. If you're in Montreal, this is your dude. Like, you, I can't hit him. I, I can't I can't hit him. I, I'd love to be able to. You know, I gotta get strapped up to you more next time. Yeah, yeah. I think everyone loved me arm wrestling. You. <laughs> that was nice. Yeah, I yeah. sucked though. Well, I mean, now you know what it feels like. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It would be fun. Devin loves comments. Yeah. So we'll go through a couple of comments. There's a lot, but we'll go through a couple, and uh, have Devin answer them. I'll answer them too. Here's a funny one. We got both. 
don't know boxing and this type of practice doesn't do anything. So I guess the practice we've been doing doesn't do what anything. What do you mean both don't? Both like I, Thor and I? I guess, yeah, Thor and you. And then these trainers, whoever they are, don't know boxing themselves. This funny fight will be purely for entertainment, definitely not for people who know boxing, from Pinto. Well, that's great for you because maybe you can figure out who this person is and challenge them. Come fight me? I'll, I'll back... I'll back Zach. Whoever you are, whoever whoever said that, hey, let's figure out who this person is because I got a feeling you might be surprised and you might find out that you might not know boxing when you step in the ring. Yeah. You can always come. Just have to sign the waiver form. Yeah. Then, and then you're good. Oh, it's easy to be an expert from your uh, mother's basement. Why don't I say that? <laughs> I don't know who you are. Maybe you're a pro boxer and... You know, but I, I think I, he's he's a very good fighter. Don't don't kid yourself. Jack Simonov, judging by what I've seen, Devin has zero chance of winning. I mean, zero. I think is actually a non-existent number. <laughs> I actually don't think that you went to school <laughs> because <laughs> because all those zero is an imaginary number, but. I I don't think it's actually statistically possible to have a zero percent chance in anything. Like it's like maybe it's a zero point zero zero something. Oh come on, man! Everybody knows I'm gonna kill Thor. Just look at the arm bet statistics. <laughs> I'm like clearly there's some people out there who think it's higher than zero. You never know, man. Listen, I I I know. Make no illusions. I know. I'm terrible, but Thor is just this much more than terrible. Just this much more. Bam. Bam. Devin must be getting paid to get KO'd. I like watching his arm wrestling stuff, but if if he survives past the first round, I would be shocked. But it's great entertainment, and no one, and no one will get seriously hurt. Terry Nix. Well, that's that's you know that, I feel like that's a, a sandwich. sandwich. Yeah, yeah I sandwich that one. You know, it's a little bit of this, a little bit of that. You know, it's wishing us well. Nobody's getting hurt. That's good. Yeah, I'm gonna focus on that part of it. Okay, thanks, buddy. <laughs> I hope I hope nobody gets hurt too. I guess this one's for me. Why would you release so much of Devin's footage for Thor to see? Fucking YouTube bucks, man. <laughs> <laughs> YouTube money! Hey, we gotta get paid somehow in this business. I don't get paid. I don't have that much... Uh, well, now I have followers, but I don't have the watch time, so I don't get paid. But Let this be a lesson to you people. Open up the kimono a little bit, share your lives so that we can all benefit, and get that YouTube revenue. <laughs> His name is Jake Paul, P4P, number one boxer. Oh, he's so he's legit. Yeah, you you box. You're number one. You would think that that guy would not have a problem with putting things on. That's like a quite a contradictory statement from Jake Paul. Yeah, Jake he's telling Paul. people not to put things on YouTube. Yeah, he's got to fix his persona, dude. If you're gonna be Jake Paul on YouTube, you can't be telling people not to put things on YouTube. This is a complete contradiction. You need to you need to become what's it called congruent, <laughs> congruency. Yeah, it's true. Hey, I got one of these before Zach did. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we were laughing yesterday when we, we said uh, Devin is a pro boxer before I am. <laughs> we were laughing about that. Yeah, it's true. And I said, I said, Zach, if you get enough YouTube followers, maybe you could get into ping pong. <laughs> <laughs> I had none of that, okay? I've, I've made as much steps to clear out the rust as possible in the last four and a half weeks. But blame yeah. blame pancakes. Don't Bur blame burnt pancakes. Don't blame our boy Zach. <laughs> burnt pancakes. Don't, don't blame <laughs> Zach. Yeah. The, yeah. the the training that we've been doing, like the interval work, it, to me it's been super accurate. I've been really impressed with the degree of accuracy, even coming from like, uh, you know, I'm obviously I'm not a boxer, but like the, the work intervals that we've been doing, I'm like, this is really good. Like burst, you know, take it back a bit, burst for three minutes, 
you know, all the time structures, all the energy expenditures. It's 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 very it's very much in line with what the fight could should be. So I've been doing our best, you know. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. We have. We have. That's it. Tonight. Yes. I'm Tonight. A, I'm gonna put the link in the bio for you guys to watch, mm -hmm. and we'll watch the fight. I guess everyone's from around the world, but it's going to be at what was it eight? Eight o'clock, it said, pay-per-view, I think, 8.45. Is that eight, when it starts? I think so. 8.45. 8.45. That was the first fight. Dubai time. Yeah. So yeah. 8.45, Dubai time, whatever time it is for you guys, that's kind of what it'll be. It'll be my link. It's in all of Devin's link on his channel, so you could go kind of either one of us. Just click it if you want to watch. But uh, that's it for this video, guys. Thank you, Devin, for helping hey, me explain. thank you, Zach. <laughs> guys, course. trust me. If you love fighting, if you love rehab, if you love all things physical, subscribe to this dude. Big future. Thank you. All right, guys. Don't forget, click that notification bell, like, subscribe. I'll catch you guys after this is all over. Peace. <laughs>